TCG Collectibles was nice enough to share this fantastic information with everybody. Ignisters, congratulations. You guys, you have a regional top underneath your belt by none other than the famous Andres Torres out of, uh, what was this, the uh, Barquin Quilla Regional? Yeah. So we're going to walk through this. We're going to talk about every Ignister card that this deck actually has access to. And I just, I want to once again clap for you guys. You guys got a regional top underneath pre-eternity code format for this deck with only about half of your format. So once again, I, I think Andrews Torres is like this massive legend. And I think it's really cool that this deck got the chance to actually... Uh, get a top. So, I don't know. Ro Robbie's done just sucking him off. I think that that's cool. So, we got three copies of Achichi at Ignister. So, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one level four or lower at Ignister Monster. Redact your hand except for Achichi. At the start of the damage step, when your Cyber's monster battles, you can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy that monster you control. You can only use each effect of Achi Chi at Ignister once per turn. So basically, main thing here, we have Cyverse built in, banish this card from a graveyard, destroy that monster that you can try. I think that's an interesting effect. The thing we care about here is it is the Tutor Searcher for our deck. Also level 2 Cybers. Um, not much relevance with the levels, except for if you're playing the Ritual Summon in the deck, which we are not. Then we have triple copies of Balancer Lord. So once per turn, pay a thousand life points during your main phase. This turn, you get to additional normal summon, one Cyber's monster, in addition to your normal summoner set. And then if this card is banished, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. So for the cost of a measly 1,000 life, I get to have this guy extend out my plays. Seems really good to me. We have two copies of Bururu at Ignister. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can send an Ad Ignister from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a synchro summon of a Cyverse monster, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used for that synchro summon except for Bururu. Special summon that monster. So basically, if you use Bururu and this guy to make your level 7, uh, you basically get to bring back the Balancer Lord uh, to continue on with your extender plays. So basically, whatever two monsters you're sticking together, you're at least going to get the other monster back out onto the field, which is quite good. And we have two copies of Doyon, or Doyon, yeah, at Ignister. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one at Ignister monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a Link summon, you can target one eye spell or trap card in your graveyard add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of Doyon once per turn. So basically, we only get recursion for what? Idle Reborn and Ignister uh, Island. So not the best, uh, but hey, both cards are really good. Then of course we have triple copies, Lady Debug, so we can tutor for Achichi, you know, Buru, Picotti, or Doyon. Or I guess we can, uh, yeah, we, we can search for the Balancer Lord unfortunately, but I wish we could. Then we have two copies of Nibiru. This is the only hand trap that he opted to play, which was interesting in terms of ratios. I do quite... Uh, I guess I agree with this. Like, your real space that you got was the two copies of Nibiru and, like, the Mystic Mind to counteract plays in the format. So that was pretty standard. Then we have triple copies of Picari Ignister. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Ice Ball Trap card from your deck to your hand. Then you can target one adding Mr. Monster Control. Its level becomes four until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect of Picari adding Mr. once per turn. So you basically get two targets to search. You can search for the Idol Reborn, or you can search for the Ignister Island uh, to start your combo surges, and all the fun little things like that that this deck really wants to start setting up. Then we play triple copies of Idol or <laughs> AI Dole Reborn. So quick effect, target one adding Mr. Monster in your graveyard, splash summon it. You cannot splash some monsters for this turn after this card resolves, except for Cyber's monsters. And one attack is declared involving two monsters. 
You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one card from your hand, okay, add, and one card from your hand, and then target one of your AI spell or trap cards that is banished or in your graveyard, except for Idle Reborn, and add that card to your hand. So basically, you can get back your field spell if your opponents uh, started banishing it. Um, outside of that, um, eh, it just a quick monster reborn for you to set up plays. Then we have triple copies of Called by the Grave. Um, I don't know what your opponent's going to think that they're going to want to hand trap you in this deck, uh, to be honest, but I would still be careful of that. Triple sign at mining. Uh, Cybers, 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 and Cybers. All the Cybers search in the world. Then we have triple copies of Mr. Island. So if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, you can splash summon one level four or lower, adding a stir from your hand. But for the rest of this turn, you cannot splash summon monsters with the same attribute by this effect of Ignister Island. And you cannot special summon monsters except for Cybers, even if this card leaves the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one adding Ignister monster from your graveyard to set this card. So basically, this card will always be on your field. It should be generally recovering itself 95% of the time. And in addition, you get the ability to extend out as your first play. Um, I do think that this card is probably one of the best things that we've got going for it. And it makes this deck just a little bit more consistent. I think it's one thing that we've always... When, when I've looked at these cards, I was like, consistency is going to be our biggest issue here. And Andres kind of found the way to bridge that gap. So, quite well, actually. So we have triple copies of Lightning Storm. Got to make sure that you're able to clear off those pesky monsters that are giving you problems. And once again, Andres found a way to do that. One Monster Reborn. One Mystic Mine. Two copies of Desires. I don't think you really care about your monsters all that much. You've maximized on your ratios to ensure that you can get to them as fast as possible, so this should not be an issue. One set rotation, one terraforming, and one copy of Upstart Goblin. Okay, so now you're in the extra deck. We have one update jammer um, and one transcode talker, because the transcode OTK with the update jammer is going to be the reason why you're going to win a good chunk of your games. We have one copy of Zero Boros, one Avermax, and then we start getting into the new fun stuff. So we have two Lingaribo. So it's one level four lower Cybers monster. When your opponent activates a trap card, quick effect, you can attribute this card to negate that card's effect. And if you do banish it, if this card is in graveyard, quick effect, contribute one adding Mr. Monster that was summoned from the extra deck, and then special summon this card. Okay. One IP to toggle on into the higher rank plays. And then we get into the fun stuff. We have one Firewall Dark Fluid. So remember, if this card is Link Summoned, you can place counters on this card equal to the number of different types of Cybers cards in Graveyard. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz. So, basically, we can fulfill the requirements on three of the... Well, okay, so Ritual and... No, no, it's Xyz and Synchro. It doesn't count for uh, Link. So, yeah, we should have no problem getting to these. And then when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can remove one counter from this card to negate the activation. If this effect was activated between this card's attack and declaration at the end of the battle, this card can make another attack in a row. So you just got this super fatty that's just gaining 2,500 counters on it for no real reason to show to get your opponent. So good. Then we have two copies of the Dark Templar adding this here. So three monsters with different names. If a monster is them to his own, this card points to. Even during damage step, you can swash summon as many level 4 or lower adding this or monsters from your graveyard as possible to your zones that this card points to, but their effects are negated. This card destroys one monster by battling, swash summon one Cyber's monster from your graveyard. So, uh, we can bring back our little Ignister friends. Uh, this card is actually quite bonkers for this deck. We have one copy of the Cyber's uh, Wick Kid, I believe it is. This Link Summon card cannot be destroyed by Valor card effects. Cyber's monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects. Maybe a monster special summon to his own that this card points to while you control this monster, except during damage ship. Special summon one Cyber's from your graveyard to add one Cyber's tuner from your deck to your hand. This card's actually amazing. You know, go gets our friend. Then we have the the two Light Dragon adding Nestor. So if a monster you control be destroyed by card effect, uh, you can detach one material from this card instead. And then you can apply these effects once per turn. Um, so you detach one material from this card, destroy face-up monsters your opponent controls, up to the number of Ignister monsters you control. Or when another Cyber's monster you control inflicts damage to your opponent, you can special summon one Link monster from your graveyard. And then we have, of course, the two Wind Pegasus at Ignister. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner. During a main phase, you can destroy spell trap guards your opponent controls up to the number of Ignister monsters you control. 
If another card or card you control be destroyed by an opponent's card effect, while this card is on the field or in the graveyard, you can banish this card. Then target one card you opponent control, shuffle it into the deck. This card is just a fat monster that's going to be giving you some sort of protection. Um, at least popping out back row, more interruptions, eh, good things like that. Side, we have Triple Droll Knockbird, two Gizmek, Triple Dark Roller No More, two Mind Control, two Twin Twister, and Triple Copies of Summon Limit. Wrapping up Andreas Torres's list for everybody. Congratulations, Andreas, for getting one of the first tops for this deck. So what do you guys think about adding this? Or please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Well, guys, I'm out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And to those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Fancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.